Sup, demigod. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha ha! In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranja Academy, Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. Regardless, this is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you, or there is. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star! It was me, Perry. I jerked you off at super speed so it'd seem like you nutted at just a woman's tut! Did I not call this? I was posting about it in my Discord server, I literally said. That's what they've been doing for the last few games with friggin' with Rose and with the Ether Foundation. I want to use my big ice dragon. Ooh, I like the cry that they added to Dragon Dance. I'm just gonna keep setting up Dragon Dances, I guess. I'm dead! That crit did not matter! Dude, I want to use my big ice dragon! That... Dude. I only did that much? Yeah, that's doing a lot less to me. <laughs> I forgot that I'm freaking immune to all status moves. Okay, rules require we stay in. How new? If I was gonna go into rad, I needed a clean switch. Oh my god! It's not a speed tie. I just needed to aqua step, but I went for the sweep instead. Still only allowed three items. Eh, freaking Volt Absorb. Shazam outsped, but rad didn't. How bad is the speed IV on my Quackle Vault? Gyarados? What's it gonna go for? I mean, probably, like, Earthquake. Dude, what the- It's these freaking damage rolls! 117... One th 131? Oh. Actually, me using Giga Drain there was such a bad move, because I, what I needed to do was I needed to heal Rad. I'm gonna just real quick rectify that error. Just like the Mabasta, if the Intimidate screwed me over. I couldn't stay in and reliably click Thunder Punch. Oh, right! It's snow now, so he has boosts to his defense fence in snow. I kind of want to bulk up, but I think I'm just going to brick break in a close combat. Never mind, I'm just going to brick break twice. Never mind, I am going to brick break in a close combat. Oh wait, no, I should have brick breaked because then the freaking Aurora Veil would be gone. Oh my god, I'm playing so bad in this fight. And now I can't Brick Break. I'm gonna play to the possibility that this thing has weak armor. Oh my god, it does! Okay, but I died in this. I feel I can go to Rad and click Aqua Step. I think it'll be a roll to kill. Unless I Terra. Me not clicking Brick Break there was such a bad play. No! Oh my god, I just lost. Why would you click that? If you saw the Shadow Ball kill, you should have clicked the Shadow Ball move. What the fuck? Does he have Hex too? Because he definitely outspeeds me. Well, I, I can't afford to heal. No, he does just have Shadow Ball. Okay, well, I'm gonna die to the burn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. How did I take that that well? 
Well, it doesn't matter. Because now I have to take whatever he, whatever his next thing is. And he still has Aurora Veil up. Does the Aurora Veil end when snow ends now? Meow Scarada? Yeah, I got a Brick Break. I should have Ice Spinnered. All of the starters this gen are certified bangers. They're all great this gen. Why wouldn't you go for a dark move? Oh my god, a... that was a crit. A dark move would have killed. I need a burn. Oh, did I? Did I get a crit in return? What? There is no. I should not have killed. Mouscarada is not that frail, and I did not do enough with that brick break. What? What was that battle, dude? Well, now, Master Demigod. Oh yeah, your family's rich, rich in this game, by the way. It seems you have grown quite sp splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I'm not actually Cassiopeia. Well, that is a twist, because considering we all thought he was going to be evil. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia, such was my resolve. But it turns out you are strong at... You are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. If we struggled that much with Clavel... Hola, Penny. Thanks for coming. <laughs> okay, that's a reveal. <laughs> I love the, the hood. It, like, they, they had a taking off animation for it, and then it just slides back onto her model. <laughs> the big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star Lackeys outside the school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. Dude, she... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so one, she's talking about counterfeiting. <laughs> Two, she has an evil smirk. And three, I guess the, oh, you know, the identity of the big boss wasn't known, but... <laughs> this twist makes no sense. Why, why was she letting herself get harassed by Team Star? And if she has so much confidence, why is she? Why was she even pretending to be neurotic? After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. So this is the final showdown. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh my god! <laughs> <They're> not... <laughs> Why is he here? I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. <laughs> Jeez. What even is the motivation behind destroying Team Star then? Cassiopeia wanted all of them to go back to school, that's right. But then why even, like, battle me? Why? I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now, bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. If because of the Eevee backpack she just uses a team of six Eevee Lusions, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, that's what's happening. This thing also has foul play! Well, my plan does not change. Oh! Well, she has more of those and I have a Dragon Dance, so... <laughs> this is gonna be 20 turns of this. She finally didn't use Baby Doll Eyes, because that's a priority move. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna get to a plus six speed here. Okay, now I'm plus two. And I missed. Oh my god. Go ahead, baby doll eyes me. You lived! I'm. Nope, nope, no. Nope. I wanna use my big ice dragon. I'm not, I'm not, I'm. Nope, I wanna use my big ice dragon. Item number one. 
and I outspeed this thing anyway, and I'm at plus two. Yes! I finally get to use the Big Ice Dragon! All because I cheated and used an item against trainers that don't use items! You know what won't be fair? We won't click Dragon Claw. This move can miss. It didn't, but what if it did? I'm at plus six speed. Nothing. There's nothing she can do to me. She has a team of all Eevee Lugins. That's so fucking lame, dude. Oh, you lived that. You, 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 <laughs> that did more than I expected. And I'll, oh, it was a crit. That's why. Even if I didn't set up with Bexcalibur, this battle still would have been a wash. You know what? Do I switch out here? Yeah, you know what? I'll be fair. I'll be fair. I'll go to my Volt Absorber. I want you to put up a fight. Come, come. No, no. Put up a fight. Come on. Oh my god, we're doing this again. Alright, I'm not clicking it anymore. This is dumb. Her last one better be freaking Sylveon, dude. Now, Sylveon does get Mystical Fire, but I doubt she clicks it here. <laughs> All the trainers in this game, when they have the, the Terra Orb, it seems like they really struggle to hold on to it. Like, it's really absorbing that much power. Yo, getting adaptability on fairy moves, in all fairness, is actually kind of scary. So it's essentially, this is not resisted. That was a neutral hit, essentially. She got the, she got the special attack drop. Okay, well, what are you going to click on me now? Mystical Fire? I know you get it. Shadow Ball! Item number two. I probably will not have the chance to click both Flash Cannon and make it rain, so I'm just going to click- WHY WOULD YOU DO THAT, YOU STUPID IDIOT?! Game Freak. Fucking... And- And what- I don't spay?! Well, I hated everything to do with that fight. Penny of Team Star. Or <laughs> It's all over now. It's finally over, guys. It's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking! We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning some ma learning them some manners? We didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyr tyrannous oppression. T'was a bloodless victory, be assured you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. And then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stun might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you should start going to school again. Oh yeah? What about you? I can't go back. Hi. There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All you can all I can say to you guys is Thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Pray that you speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us! I don't have a voice for Ortega, this dumb undercut have an ass. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Yo, this storyline is sick. 
I, I, I really like this storyline. Also, Pete, uh, Penny's from Galar. Why well, resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? I'm assuming this is where she's just gonna say, yeah, I just wanted my friends to go to school again. Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses they were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our, our code states no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. I really... Dude, I like this! This is... The, just, like, the whole rules of Team Star and everything like that, like... How Giacomo was the one that wrote the code. How his life got so screwed over because of the bullies. That he, he joined Team Star, and then he literally m found a family. After his life got so insanely screwed up. Giacomo is easily the coolest character out of out of all the Team Star bosses. Aerie, second place. And he wrote the code. He's like, yeah, no. We're all equals here. We, no one can order anybody around. Dude, that, this is so sick! Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. Does Team Star... No, what do your friends in the team mean to you? Let me guess, they're my greatest treasure? They're... Yeah, I'm freaking. It's literally the freaking level up line from the Flash. How it's used over and over and over in this entire game. That's the one thing I can fault this game for. Well, that and you know, the game's not hard. Everyone, why don't you come on out? No, it's the bosses. Cutscene. Cutscene time. We got one with Arvin. Yeah, we we get a cutscene. That's sick. The yo big boss. Long time no see. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Fairly thine long hidden. Uh, yeah, I don't. I got nothing on on Atticus's speech pattern, dude. <laughs> Some I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Found you at last. No idea how worried we've been. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Casio. <laughs> Oh, dude, I love the storyline. Also, Mela can bend her knees in those boots, so why is her walking animation so fucked? <laughs> now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well, on behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Um, again? As the director of the Academy, I let you down. The handling of your situation was a dismal failure. I still don't... I mean... Why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star, and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. Now I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course your immense courage in putting things to right. <clears throat> and so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be a wish. However, there's still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. You're, pra <laughs> You're praising customization of school uniforms. Your unauthorized usage of academy equipment. Your reckless modification and shepherd is driving a Pokemon powered vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> That's just punishment you'll all be required to engage in community service. <laughs> Specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for the Star Train. <laughs> There'll all be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talent. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. This may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. Yeah, we're already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. That'd be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys! Demi God, what do you think? I think it sounds great. I'm gonna be honest, I would- I could not take these fuckers seriously to save my life, and I think that's part of the reason that this storyline worked for me so well. The entire thing is that these guys are- are being bullied, 
and the player character in knowing that, or at least the player of the game, in knowing that they're freaking ridiculous, is continuing that cycle of bullying. You're the problem. And it's, it's great. The freaking evil teams in the last few gens have actually been really sick. Skull, Yell, Star. I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. You know? The LPI gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall. Okay, so we're we're uh, <laughs> we're acknowledging her counterfeiting. I got a hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Uh, I see that is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that hard. Uh, I mean, I'm really sorry, and I won't do it again. Hmm. <laughs> This matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how to best proceed. Oh, the home wrecker? I thought I was going down big time for hacking the League point system, but they're letting me off easy. What happened then? Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. Even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Why do you have this when you have a team of Pikachus? Yeah, Eevee is a Pikachu. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Starfall Streets Complete Two stories down One to go I have a team to level up And I'm gonna take on that Pokemon League <laughs>